Oh, good morning. So today is day five. Uh, got up about 6.30. Left camp about 7. Oh, 5, 7, 10, something like that. Uh, I'm going to go down see if I can't find a water source to go ahead and fill up, eat some breakfast. The sun's kind of behind the clouds this morning. So maybe it'll peek itself out here soon. It's supposed to be a beautiful day today. Looks like I'll have some views. I'm going to try to do about 10 to 12 miles today. So, picking it up the pace a little bit. Feel pretty good so far. Just came up a nice little climb, so that's kind of heavy. Talk to you later. Good morning. Not a bad spot to stop and eat breakfast. I think earlier I said this is day five. I think it's actually day six. It tells you how easy it is to keep up with dates out here. I'm on the first week and probably forgetting. Um, but going back to day five, I will say day five was a really good day. We got really lucky. So uh, going up that side of Blood Mountain is the right way to go up. It's the easier way to go up, I would imagine. Going down the other side was the probably, in my opinion, the easier way to go down, to be honest. Um, I think everybody makes it out to be more than it really is, but that's just my opinion. So, uh, knowing we're going to Neil's and you know, gonna be able to get inside out of the rain for a little while, those types of things, uh, that probably pushed me, you know, with a little extra energy to get to those things. And then we also, we stayed there long enough to where it quit raining and we didn't see any more rain after that. So it poured on us on the way down. Um, and then after that, we got there, ate some pizza, some things like that and no more rain the rest of the night so i don't think it's supposed to rain it's overcast but from my understanding it's supposed to be pretty good weather for the next like four or five days so that's awesome wolf laurel top This is Cow Rock Mountain. And it is absolutely beautiful. Well, the climb out of Tisnati Gap up to here is 500 feet and a half a mile. And let me tell you, you feel every bit of that. But, totally worth it. And I believe, 
I got a family of big birds up here. And I think that that is Cow Rock. Right there. it all worth it every single time. So I decided to take a, a blue blaze trail over about 0.5 miles uh, one way to an overlook um, and then I left my pack and my sticks at the overlook and went up to the top of the mountain and then when I was coming back down, I passed my pack and my sticks and didn't even, didn't see them. Obviously didn't see the path over to where I was. Went almost back to the front of the Blue Blaze Trail and had to backtrack to go find them again because, well, obviously I'm forgetful. So there you go. So I just got my first uh, bit of trail magic down there, hog pen gap. Uh, I guess they had soups and everything else, but I'd already eaten. So I didn't eat anything but a banana and a brownie. And I drank some lemonade, but it was much thankful. Nice to have, especially knowing I'm getting ready to do a little bit more ups and downs. So thank you very much for whoever that was down there at hog pen gap today, I appreciate you. Got Kiki in the front, Brian in the middle, and Sojourner in the back there, hiking together to do two more miles today, going down to Poplar Camp Spot. So. We'll stop for water before we go up to our campsite. You can really see the flowers starting to come out in really full bloom here. And then you get a beautiful waterfall. Amazing. Somebody has made us a bridge and I really thank them for it. Uh, today I did 11.7 uh, miles about 3,000 feet of elevation. So my longest day and my highest day. Um, felt pretty good. So tomorrow I think I'm gonna do about 10, 10 to 11. And then uh, the next day will be about nine to 10. And then I'll go into Hiawassee. So um, yeah, great day overall. Pretty hard, I had some trail magic today. So yeah, nice little banana, brownie. It was beautiful. And that sunset is absolutely gorgeous to go with it. Good morning. Today is day seven. Uh, not sure how far we're gonna go yet today. It's either gonna be 12 or 12, 10 or 12, something like that. Uh, there's a pretty good climb today, I think. So it'll be a good test after doing the 12 and a half, 12 yesterday or whatever it was. So interesting to see what today brings. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Sun's out already. Can't wait. This tunnel will be fully bloomed with some flowers in the next couple of days. It will be beautiful. I can't wait to see it. Laurel and rhododendron and there'll be some wildflowers probably too. I don't know if they have enough light to get up in here, but it will be amazing, I'm sure. So I'm on day seven now and I'll give you a little update about how I feel, things like that. Mentally, 
I feel absolutely fantastic. I don't think I could feel better mentally. Everything out here is so beautiful. I'm enjoying myself. You know, there are aspects of the ups and downs that kind of take its toll, but when you just think about everything else around you, you realize that every one of them are worth it. Physically, every night, my feet hurt, my, my calves hurt, uh, my hammies hurt, but again, it's a temporary pain. It's not a real pain. It's just the uh, pain of the day. I haven't had any true um, hurts yet. You know, no injuries at all. I had a little, couple of little naggies, but that's where the, you know, the ankles and stuff like that. They're just, they're just a little bit tender and stuff, but I think that's to be expected also. So overall, I would say my mental and physical health are probably in really, really I, I mean, I'm really good shape. So I couldn't ask for more. So later on. You have this on both sides of you. How can you ever be upset? Always worth the climb. Yes. So, pretty sure it was a quail. Uh, right next to me. I mean, five feet away. Let me tell you how fast I am with this video. He was walking about the, probably slower than the speed I was going up Sassafras Mountain. And I still did not get a video of this dude. So, something I need to work on is figuring out how to get this camera out faster and getting it up so I can get this wildlife. But I finally have seen some wildlife up close and I'm excited. First snake, damn near stepped on it. So I'm at Unicoi Gap and uh, Right now there are two people actually down here doing trail magic, so I've already had a hot dog, um, a Mountain Dew, a cookie, a banana, a cup of coffee, and now I'm going to take a nap and uh, see what the rest of this day brings. It's only like 12 o'clock, so super early, crushed out today. There weren't a whole lot of views to stop at, so just keep on pushing, 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 but I feel fantastic that is the best i felt since i started so i'm pretty happy and always when you get a little magic and i'm probably gonna have another hot dog for for it all said and done so yeah that's fantastic after climbing for 0.7 miles straight up sitting next to this it's glorious taking a break in the shade listening to the water nothing beats it made it up to Cheese Factory Campground. Uh, it's about two miles away, or maybe just a mile away from Trey Gap, I believe it's called. Um, tomorrow we'll do another 12 miles probably. So today was about 12 miles. I'm not sure of the elevation yet, so I'll let you know.